Hello there, and welcome back to the Epic Frodo YouTube channel. My name is Will, and today I'm joined by Jack. Hello there. And today we're going to be watching Midsummer. But before we get into the video, please feel free to like and subscribe, as it really does help us out, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Here we go, there's the A24. The infamous logo. I think that's probably the best, the best production company, like, putting out films at the moment. I don't know if you saw that, that's basically everything that happens in the film. Really? <laughs> it's, yeah, okay. it's like a spoiler of the whole film. Oh, let's rewind it then and then um, end it now. <laughs> It's the sound, it's the music in this film, and just the shots. It's just where are you going from? Watching that? this in the cinema, I went to see this in the cinema, and it just it was just depressing. That's the most best word to use it. Yeah. Oh god. If you can call when you can, and of course, you know I'm I'm always here if you need anything. Of course. There's a headdress there at the back. That looks like the one she wears in the picture. Okay. Um, I love you. Yeah. All right. See, now that I've watched Hereditary and I've watched 10 things you missed in Hereditary, I'm always looking in the background to see what's going on. Everything's black. Oh god, it's just horrible. Did we talk about doing something tonight? I mean, not not concretely, but um, I just wanted to see. So there's already, she's got some relationship issues. It's still just another obvious ploy for attention, just like every other panic attack she's given you. Yeah, you're right. You are right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's just like a, a toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. The co perfect conversation of it, like how she's opened up and he's just like hitting down everything she says, and just yeah. completely ignoring it, and then at the end she's saying, "I'm sorry." Yeah. And don't forget about all the Swedish women you can impregnate in June. Okay, guys. Don't forget about all mm -hmm. the Swedish men. Is he Swedish? Then that guy. Yeah, Pele is. Pele. That's not her again. Yeah. <laughs> what well, the footballer? Oh, so then she should call her therapist and not you. It's literally abuse. She's abusing Excuse you. Me. No. There you go, Jack. Oh my See, they think it's abuse to him. Me, it's obviously not though. Great. It's just a normal relationship. Yeah, it's it's the typical thing of yeah that they are all toxic friends as well. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a, a fun watch. This in the cinema, mm. there's a few shots and it's panned upside down and it's not like you get sad, but it's, it's you, I, I, you feel like you're having a panic attack. It's probably the point because you said that medicine, she had is for anxiety, so um, it's meant to make you feel like you have anxiety as well. Oh, she killed the parents as well. That's what she said, do you not remember? It's all going black, mum and dad are coming too. Jeez. Oh, God. That's a horrible image. This is worse than hereditary already. Directly mm -hmm. into her mouth like that, not just doing it while you sleep. But I bet the only thing he's thinking is, well, I can't leave her now. How can she make herself do that, like as an actress? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's not just like, this is why she was so good at it. And again, it's like they're, they're all these actresses and things get snubbed because it's horrors. You, that's not like crying you ever see, or maybe that's like real, like, mm. agony crying. You never see that in films. That bit was horrendous in the cinema. That whole sequence was like, I need, you feel like you're going to throw up watching it. It's just so intense, that scene. Okay, that picture means something. <laughs> yeah. Every single thing that we see in it means something, which is so good. Where are you going? I was just gonna go to that party for 45 minutes. Oh god, honestly. Oh. Midsummer's a real thing, isn't it? Yes, yeah, festival, yeah. yeah. Should we go? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'll make my mind up after this. Okay, fine, but I didn't know you were going. I just decided today. I wasn't keeping it from you. You already have a ticket. I was cringe watching stuff like this. It's just like, I'm sorry. just be honest. That's what I mean. It's so uncomfortable, though. It's just the whole film is. Hmm. I really think I should just leave. No, 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 no! Please, please, please! I'm not. I'm not trying to attack you. It I'm not. It really feels like you are. Well then, I, well then, I'm sorry. I'm. So, I just got confused. I'm sorry. I you see like the this. way that's just twisted hey, round hey, that hey, situation. Hey, it shows a toxic hey, relationship hey, like that. She had a problem. She tried to air it to him, and now. 
she's apologising. Hmm. Well, she's, he's the only person she's got left and she doesn't want to push him away. I invited her and she accepted, but she's not actually coming to Sweden. Okay. Jesus. How have you been? Pretty good. Yeah. Survived finals. So, <laughs> yeah. You know. And you? He's sinister. Uh, He's too nice. Uh, I, I didn't Is it going to be like Get Out? Is the Swedish guy like a... He's a plant. Is it going to be like Get Out? Do you know, she, he's like part of the Swedish village and brings all the people into it. Whoa, who's that one? That's last year's May Queen. <laughs> and we're going to make a guess. She's going to be the May Queen. This shot, oh God, in the cinema made me feel ill. Look at that. Yeah, see, her world has been turned upside down. Hi. Danny, Christian and Josh. That's not like PewDiePie then. You know what, it's fine, it's fine. Babe, I'm, babe. I'm, it's, no. I'm ready. No, don't it's okay, I don't, I don't. It's fine, I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes, Mark, thank you. It seems a lot of this film is her being thrown into situations she doesn't want to be in and her having to yeah, is. not defending herself. It's not that, it's a constant thing of her having to please others. Mm. That's what she's doing throughout this when it's in an argument and she thinks she's in the right, which she is. She's got to please him, mm. take the losing side. She's got to take drugs when she doesn't really want to just to please him and keep him close. Thanks, dude. Oh. I couldn't imagine that. I don't think I could no. do that. I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> the trees too, they're breathing. It'd be interesting though, like that is what like how you see. Mm. And I've seen people talk about how realistic, like apparently the most realistic thing about this is the trips and like how it looks and feels. Really? They've been laughing. You wanna come meet my friends? Well, I see a smile. Oh, I see his yeah. face. Yeah. Well, it's like anything, isn't it, with drugs or an experience like even drinking. If you go into it like grieving or like your mind is not okay, it's gonna make you. Oh. You see that? I did. Look at her face now. Did you see what it was? It was her sister. Yeah. These are my family. That does look really nice, actually. I think I would like to go visit this place. <laughs> But still, I'll wait till the end of the film before I decide. There was a picture of that barn. See, I'm, I'm too smart for Ariaster. There's a picture of the barn, and I could hear burning sounds. He had the shot of the barn, with the, the barn. fire in front of it, with the crack, the smoke coming up in the barn, and it cracking. So, that barn's yeah. gonna get set on fire at some point. What are the kids playing? Skin the fool. Skin the fool. Yeah. What are they playing? Skin the fool. So I'm gonna guess that's um okay. <laughs> gonna have to blow that out. Can't wait, what's that? That's that's um she's making making him go all messed up because of her. <laughs> that's all I can say. And then finally, from 54 to 72, you become a mentor. Become a mentor. What happens at 72? <laughs> yeah, but he's not joking, is he? <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Danny. <laughs> Happy birthday. See, it's the awkwardness of it again. See what I see from that, if I get deep with that shot. Showing the love and nature and the family, they're all connected together, swaying mm. together, and then it comes back to her life and it's just dysfunctional all over the place. Yeah. She's not happy, you see? I'm sorry. Somebody should tell those girls they're walking stupid. I feel like I'm watching a creepy Wes Anderson film with the way there's just shots of like trolleyed and panned and flat. Oh, yeah. I want to know what actually happens to them when they hit 72. I have a feeling something horrendous is about to happen. I think they're both 72. Gonna, oh, okay. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> the Horn of Gondor. 
because you know it can be so tense. Just the music build up, the heights. That guy's got a massive hammer. Oh god, Jack, I'm so uncomfortable. I know. <laughs> This is worse than hereditary. No! Oh! Oh! He went down on his feet! That's why the guy's got the hammer, I'm guessing. Have you noticed the group synergy? How when one's in pain, they're all in pain. That's not like they're in pain as well. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. See that? I don't like this, Jack. I do. Instead of getting old and dying in pain and fear and shame, we give our life a suggestion. It's not, it's, 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 not, it's, it's not a thing, but it's quite a nice concept, like the way they Let's think like that. Do you know what I mean? Like in their head, like. You know what I mean? Like, like, a, give, it, give them a little um, poison sorry, and let them just. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying like that's brutal, but the idea that they, they view it as. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Every member's got to stab them, not for the watch. Um, <laughs> that was horrible. I think that might be one of the worst things I've ever seen. Why do you have to? Why would you go leg first? And just the way it was silent and all you heard. She's gone for a bit too much here. Yeah, I know. How did she not get nominated for anything for this? Yeah. I'm really struggling to understand it. And you've got things like you know Vin Diesel pops his tricep and it gets best supporting role, sure. just as <laughs> his actual tricep. Are you okay? I had a family here where everyone embraced me. He's trying to me embrace her into the family of the commune, isn't he? Raised by a community that doesn't bigger over what's embrace her in. Danny, do you feel held by him? I know he's trying to nuzzle in. Does he feel like home to you? He's trying to. It's good points what he's making mm. though. Like it's not necessarily. It's not even like he's trying to slide into her DMs. Oh Jesus! Oh, he's making the point. Did how good was that line? Then do you feel held by him? Does he feel like home? And he doesn't. To her. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to leave, because was it a four-hour drive there, and a long walk through the forest? You, and Sweden's a pretty big place. But you know, beginning when they drug them, hmm. they don't know how they get there. They sort yeah. of are wondering, and then they're out for six hours, like then she wakes they're up. They're lost. And then... They're basically already there. Yeah. Oh, that's the people. All the ashes. Yeah. yeah. See that they're throwing them. They're throwing it into the roots. You hmm. see that the ashes? So it's like rebirth. Uh oh. That tree is tied to all of our dead. It's a dead tree, though. It's dead. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's important to us. This is the first time we see one of them just go mental. Yeah. You would if thought you were in that tradition. Simon left without Connie. Jesus, really? Yeah. What a dick move. Is she okay? Uh, no, she just got. Did she told. say why? No, no. That sucks. On the on the subject of couples, actually, um, <laughs> is there an issue here? Incest. See, he doesn't care. He's only about um. Yeah. So I said, yeah, look, she's second nature to him. She's always, she's never the primary objective. You know, it's his drink. Oh. I could see you possibly doing that. <laughs> oh. What did they put in that? That's made it darker. Something that's red. The hell does that mean? Somebody, something red would make it that color. <laughs> oh god. Oh, look, no, no spit focus. I cannot handle it. Did not do it. Oh no. Don't drink it. Surely you'd, you'd see. You'd be like, why is my drink darker than everyone else's? Harry Astor and his transitions. 
Yeah. Oh, what's he doing? He's going to look at the book, isn't he? It's not the only proper shot like this. Bar it's the director's time, cut, yeah. there's two in, two in there. There's a few scenes in there at night. It's not even proper um, night as well. It's like it's sort of like dusk, isn't it? Like, yeah. close the door. We're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> oh, I see his head. Is that Mark's face skin? Yeah. On someone else's face. On that guy's face. Did you notice in the corner it spun around? It was Pele there. It did a really quick shot before it went round to Mark, and Pele was just standing in the corner Keep with the hammer. With that yeah. But you notice the one thing, you know, he's wearing his face yeah. right at the beginning. The dancer said it. it was like, what game are they playing? Skin the fool. Oh, yeah. Wow. And he was the fool. You are going with the women for the day's activity. Oh, hi. And uh, Sieb wants to see you in her house. I just hate the idea of just being there. I don't want to go there now, Jack. I've made up my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So now she's in a proper May Queen outfit. Mm -hmm. She's not part of the group now. Can I ask mm. what this is exactly? I'm pretty sure I've seen that rune somewhere. Is that the rune that was on her? That um, the guy said this one means grief. I yeah, think I think so. they've all got different ones as well. The one there. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, I don't think I could do mushrooms or things like that and see that. That would honestly like freak me out. It's just playing on the thing again that they're all connected to the earth. Mm. They're all one. So you just got to keep dancing and whoever is the last one to light standing becomes the queen. This in the cinema with this noise, this music was just so hypnotising. I bet. Oh, there's a bear on fire. That's what we got on the walls. Have a quick look. Got a hand, black hand. Bear on fire. But each shot is like a painting. That's just on a trolley, you know, just simple mm. shots, just like that, just going from room to room, mm. just the set, and it's just... And I can swear to that on my mother's life. How do you feel about Maya? About Maya? So I wonder why they're trying to set him up with that girl. Well, my guess is they're probably going to get... Try and, they're trying to get rid of... Um, well, they said they were introduced people from the outside into the village, but at the same time, You're I feel like they're trying to set Pele up with Florence Pugh. And she has fixed her hopes on you. There's, there could be lots of things. The main one is what they did mention before. They did say this about the concern with interbreeding. Mm. And they said, well, that's why we bring people in. They use mm. these foreigners to breed. And that's why they... So it is like Get Out in the sense that they send someone out abroad to different parts of the world to, in the hope of bringing people in. I see what you mean, it's very mesmerising, isn't it? It is. On the cinema, the music, this music was so loud. <laughs> the hands. It just doesn't even care. Look at the flower. Oh yeah. Is it still moving? No, it's not. Oh, all their smiles. Yeah. Guy. Mom? Mm. There's a mum. Mom? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's the <laughs> That mother. was a mum. I bet he's thinking, what on earth? All right, I need, I need your eye here. Let's see how good you really are. Let's see if you can spot something. Okay. I'm sort of scanning the scene frantically. Okay, I've got my movie analyst analysing glasses on. Ah, you missed it. Oh. It's probably the most disturbing bit. Really? I didn't see anything. Was it uh, the sister? In, in in the tree. Look at the tr in the tree line. 
of what you see. It's it's the trees and the branch of her sister's head, the trunks, the gas thing, and her eyes exploded out. And it's oh. like in the shape of the tree line. Yeah, it's, it looks. You'll go back and see it. I'll go back. Harry, what for? See, so whenever she tries to go to will connect now. They're like completely like they're shielding her from the negativity. What? His acting is good as well. Oh, everyone's acting in this is brilliant. Jack Rain is really good in this. See, it looks like he's trying to fight it, but he can't. He's been, he's been drugged, yeah. Hmm. Oh, they've like taken him away from her. Hmm. The final separation. And he's, he looks like he's really struggling like, to fight. That's what it was, and he was sort of there while she was there, but now she's gone. Hmm. Well, I guess now it's almost like now she's gone from his life, he's... That's what he's wanted, really, isn't it? We're approaching the final act. <laughs> this is going to be good. I'm mesmerising this film, isn't it? Mm. See, for the whole film, he's not been in proper robes, and now he is. Because they're going to make him someone of the village, aren't they? You ain't seen nothing yet. Great work, I'll do a lot of censoring. Yep. Remind me never to, uh. Fair enough. Brave. <laughs> Brave man. You've got a lot of censoring for this next 20 minutes. Go Look at that shot. Hmm. I don't get why they've all got to be there. They're all, they're all one, they're all hmm. connected. Females are, everyone. They're all there to. This is a cycle, this is, this is for a, a baby, it's like a whole process, it's not like spiritual. Yeah. They're all a family, like a collective. Yeah, they're all there. They're all there. Look at his face, he's just like, what? See, so a very big common theme of togetherness with nature. Yeah, it is. They, they all feel, they're all like a collective family, they all feel, they're all bind together. It's a special meeting only for the queens, and she will bless you. All women are queens. What's that? That's not for us. I think you should not. Does she know? This is why she deserves an Oscar for this bit. <laughs> when does she know that there's he's like possessed? Oh. Just, so, like, this might be the best bit of the film. Just the performance. Mm. Oh, they all fit. So, yeah, they're all togetherness again. See? Yeah. They're all like it's sharing the emotions and feelings. Mm. God, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. I don't understand why they're killing them, though. Is it if they don't. It, it, Become part of the village. He's, oh, look, they bloody eagled him. He's still alive, look. He's still, oh, yeah, he's breathing, yeah. The four new bloods have already been supplied. They go, look, four new bloods have already been supplied. They go, you yeah. your answer. And two who have volunteered Ingmar and Ulf. And these two have volunteered. You have brought yep. outside. So now it chooses which one. That she will choose either one of them or Christian. Okay. Turbjorn. Honorable Turbjorn, please step forward. Well, these are the candidates for the ninth and final offer. Look at Turbjorn, he's like, pick me, I'm desperate. That's just so weird, such a weird mentality. Oh, look, there's the fool. So it's like some yeah. specific sacrifices they have to make. He's got his jester hat on. So she picked yeah, it was her. Like in the beginning, the bear. He mm -hmm. was cuddling her with the bear when she was at the bed. She was kissing the crown. She had the uh, crown on. She was kissing the big bear in the picture. Oh yeah, yeah. He's the bear now. But that means she picked him to go in this. Yeah, yeah. Just letting go of the relationships. Listen to the music. Mm. Oh, 
we go. That yew tree didn't work too well, did it? No. Oh, look, they're all feeling it as well. Yeah. There you go. Oh, she's starting to smile. Yeah, she's burnt. She's got rid of her toxic relationship. She's got a new family. It's just what she she's wanted. She's happy again. I think this is the first this time. Is the best thing they this is what's called this this is a bad breakup movie. <laughs> well I've got a lot to say. Uh, yeah, it's um That was that was worse. Than <laughs> that's, that's how like you fit that's the best way to sum it up after watching you know a movie's done a good job where you can even relate to some of the breakups, you could but it's the as soon as you finish watching it, you just sit there for a good ten minutes and you're like hmm. you're like well, even after the third time I've seen that, you still that is so impactful that ending. But just, the um the the bit where they jumped off the cliff it was like ages ago. And it feels like so much has happened between that and then and it's just and that yeah. it hits you hard straight away with the family and then that jumping off the yeah. cliff then all the stuff with the friends then that and the end and it's just give us a moment's rest for pity sake that's what i've said this is what Ariel. it's like a family melodrama like as i said it's like a horrible breakup movie but it's about like finding yourself and finding happiness ariasta's done it again it was like hereditary i don't know which one i prefer out of the two i think maybe hereditary feels yeah. like a bit more of a compact story as in it moves a bit quicker because i feel like if i watch that one again there are parts where I maybe would feel like it would drag on a little bit. Like it seems very indulgent, especially if it's a three and a half hour film on yeah. that he wants. So, but it's still good. Like it still builds it, it still sets the scene, it still makes you feel uncomfortable. That it's just that part of jumping off the cliff. That's going to stay with me. There's so many bits in it which just disturb us. The themes are the same with Hereditary. What Hereditary then goes down a spiritualistic and sort of, you know, like possession routes. This keeps it, I know it's not realistic, but this is very realistic. This is mm. people can relate to a bad breakup, being controlled like this. Like, there's all common themes that everyone can take from these. Or everything's really real, blunt in your face in this film. And it's all playing with that idea of relationships and families that everyone can get behind. And everyone's probably experienced mm. what she's gone through, to some degree. Yeah, it's real horror. It's hard to say this is the only one I'm struggling to because obviously an hour and a half film like Chucky or something like that I can get my thoughts as the film goes on I can wrap it up whereas this one I was so engrossed with it and that's I'm what I mean by like, straight afterwards to, you need time yeah. to yeah you, you need to sit there like sit down and just think of it. you'll start remembering things from like the beginning of the film like, that feels like so long said. ago the beginning yeah. of the film feels like ages ago go back now mm. and look at the original thing you see you know, I said to you, it gives you spoilers of the film. Oh yeah, the, the first tapestry. You'll you'll yeah. start to see like Pele is mm. the Pied Piper. Honestly, I feel like these films don't get the credit they deserve. It, it winds me up mm. so much. I get I get honestly wound up when I look at you know it's like oh the Oscar. That's why I do not rate the Academy anymore. I do not rate these awards because it's like Tony Collette for the Hereditary mm. didn't even get nominated. And it doesn't spoon up. feed you. You made a good point at the beginning. Do you remember you went concentrate here? Yeah. Because people sit in the cinema, even if you go and see it, and some people just sitting on their phones still, like just eating mm. popcorn, not even paying attention. And the first five minutes, you got to really focus. And if you if you don't have the attention span, I can understand why people don't like it. But it's not an easy film to watch. I'll give them that. And it has quite a low rating on IMDb for what I thought it's got. It's got like a 7.1 or something that's, like that. That's my point. That's mm -hmm. my point to you. Like, people who's come on Amazon Prime mm -hmm. and people are so used to this kind of cinema culture and the way films are made now. They sit down and start playing that and they're like, they might at the beginning, they might be like, oh, this looks good. And then they're like, what? This is, what? Okay, I'm turning this off. It is a long film. But it's, pay it's I don't feel like anything could be cut. And it wouldn't make sense. That's the only issue with it. Like it is a long film, but if you cut anything else, I think it it's a help long it. film. Yeah. You, you, you can't. I feel like in today's society, well, then films are like three hours. Like Avengers is like three and a half hours. So I don't know why people are complaining. But it's just. Yeah. I think it's just because there's not like an action scene after action scene. It's just slow build up. And if That's you like that, is. like we do, you'll enjoy it. And if you don't, fair enough. It's it's hard to talk about so fresh afterwards, but. I guess I'll do the score. I think the score would be best. Best thing I to do. I want to hear your score. Okay. I'm going to give that. I'm going to give it an 85. 85 out of 100. Nice. So that's a very high score. Nice and high. Um, purely because just of the atmosphere. And I want to watch it again. 
the atmospheric qualities it provides the in just focusing on it it's a good addendum to hereditary in that you've learned from hereditary to pay attention now and just really you've got to yeah. really focus on it and that and his soul in, yeah it sucks you into the film and makes you feel like you're there and you're lost with them and you're understanding the relationships and it's you feel for the characters you understand her at the end why she picked him like it's not just like why did you pick him it's like yeah i know why you picked him yeah i'm gonna give it an 89 god well that was uh that was a journey and a half well there you have it everybody an 85 from me and an 89 from jack for ariaster's midsummer and if you enjoyed the video be sure to press that subscribe button we're gonna be bringing out a lot of videos over the next few weeks which you don't want to miss and while you're at it why not follow us on twitch Twitter and Instagram. Me and Jack will be back with another video very soon. Cheerio.